You've got Goliath from Gargoyles, Tattoo from Turtles, Ghostbusters, Old School Wrestlers, Thumb Wrestlers, More Turtles, KO Masters. Like, I love bins like these, man. You, you just never know. Dude, I died, died. Getting those comics from the inside rack on the very top. When you pull off a long box, it's almost three feet long. Well, then your elbows buckle out. Coming down off the steps, there's not enough room. So you have to take a long box. I don't know, what is it, 40, 45 pounds? Buckle your elbows in and then come down the steps. Uh, bad idea. <laughs> it was my idea. <laughs> Last night was fun, man. Like, it, it kicked off really slow. And I think a lot of it, um, with the numbers not being where I want them to be, has to do with... We used to do a really cool preview, and it, we'd show everything. And then you'd have five or six days for people to see it and then plan for that date. And we've been working on so much new stuff that by the time it's time to do the live, we haven't even done a really good preview of it. So it's kind of up in the air what you might see and what you might want to buy. So it, it definitely picked up traction. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it, it sold more than I thought we would, but... At the same time, if you compare it to how much inventory we have, it wasn't that good of a sale. But it's also, what, two and a half weeks from Christmas? So a lot of people are taking their, uh, you know, who was it? Someone put out a really good quote the other day and said, there's no reason to show your loved ones you love them by going in debt for a holiday. Yeah. And I was like, but I know so many people that are just credit card swiping or borrowing money. I don't, you know what I want for Christmas? I want time. I want like a couple hours with my friends and some ice cold brewskis and just time. I don't need nothing to, don't buy me anything. That's like when Nikki's dad asked me, what do you want for Christmas? I was like bacon and beer, you know? Good game of cornhole where I actually get the win. It would be great. Here and I was gonna show you they might be at the, they did these like little miniature die cast turtle sets and it was like, all right. And then you could buy like a little, it's almost like a micro machine, but it's not the micro machine brand. It was very, I was like, all right. I really need to remember in that other video weeks ago, we sorted turtles. Those bins are still in the back. I truly need to get to them. Every single bin's a different toy line. There's those place that's from that other shop. That's everything from that show. But I remember all the bags of turtles? I still haven't even taken them over yet. There has to be. That's all your bad guys. So I gotta find my bin that has all the actual turtles. Yeah, I was like looking at how many mocks I have to open at my house. It's gross. I was like, this This puzzled me like crazy. And I was like, I know I've seen this. I know I've seen this. It's the computer monitor for the Classics Grayskull. And I'm like, who opened a $1,200 playset and didn't make sure they kept all their pieces? Good night, dude. See what I mean? Like, it's crazy the amount of off-the-wall stuff. Small soldiers. Yo. <laughs> it's I don't know man. Look, got you got Duke. <laughs> uh, look, look, why are there brand new Lego sets that aren't out? Kills me. You want some spawn figures? Dude, I'll tell you right now, one of the hardest play sets of all time to put together is this BTR built to rule. So they had like the G.I. Joe license. So when you're putting the prime example, you've got this crazy big set. I've been, a couple of them are incomplete, whatever. But when you look at the instructions, none of the colors match. So look, that's all gray, they're black. And you have like this light gray, that's silver. It was, man, I was just like, this is, imp at least they got the yellow right at the start. But yeah, and then like 
unlike regular Lego, this would be like 10 pieces and you build it. That's all one. Yeah, that's all. every single one of these are all built to rule sets. Holy crap, that's a lot of sports. Look, I got a Raven steering wheel cover, all sports. I think this is all a sports collection. Yeah, that's Marvel. More sports. No, I'm getting frustrated. Where are my turtles? be in either this turret or that turret. Yo, they made a ton of turtle stuff, dude. A ton. I loved this as a kid. That was like one of the coolest. All right, only one tote left. That's the one right there in the back. got your blimp too. I've seen a lot of guys ruining the blimps. They're trying different ways to inflate them and like with like a foam so that it'll stay. But then what'll happen is that, that it, you don't ever know how much you actually sprayed in. So the expanding foam will grow too big and it's just ripping them to part. No, I'm looking. It's another turtle with motorcycle. Now, now you got me wondering, like, where's my... Turtle four-wheeler is sick. It's a sick piece. You know, I feel like, like a lot of the vehicles, I mean, you really don't see them. Like, for like every hundred turtles, you see like one of the cool, cool little accessories. No, it's, and it's like, um, I know they didn't put it out because it would have been a turtle and a figure. The only thing I gave them the price was merchandise. And it's 100%. Need a van, but like this is all accessories that are un. I didn't know. I couldn't identify. So I've got like all my silvers, my yellow and golds, my greens, my tan, tans and browns, and then all my reds, my blacks, chrome, purple, clear. And then what I do is we'll get a bunch of friends together and we'll go through and we'll start lensing stuff and doing some homework. And cause you'd be surprised, man, like someone out there is looking for this piece and I want to be able to give it to them. That's what I want. Dude, no way. If it's in here, I'm going to be so pissed. Yep. Remember I told you I had another bin. I separated turtles. It's all of my Leos and rafts and my card bags. Ta-da. If you saw our Lego cabinet, these are all Lego sets. We just don't have room for. But Lego's been like a, a, a really big push yeah. for us. But like, I mean, some of these sets are, look how big that box is, but the sets aren't that big. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Which reminds me, let me look at the pink and purple. I'm looking for a pink missile. Nope. What's up? When we get to the mall, I'll show you. It uh, it got marked complete. It's one of the um, the Eco Warriors, like little like uh, you know, you put the little figure in it. It's like a big machine, kind of like that. It was marked complete, but it's supposed to have three of these pink missiles across the top. And I noticed it the other day. I'm showing a guy. I'm like, well, this isn't right. And he's like, what's up? I was like, it's missing a missile. Now, hey, look. It's that turtle four-wheeler we just saw. This is a bin. I bought a huge lot. And it was just a mix 
of everything. This is that that show. Uh, oh, you had already left um, in Ohio. A couple guys had come over and were like, "Hey, man, you want to buy parts of my booth?" So. The guy had like a bin of this for five, bin for ten, bin for three, whatever. I just bought them all. So I ended up with like, you've got Goliath from Gargoyles, Tattoo from Turtles, Ghostbusters, Old School Wrestlers, Thumb Wrestlers, More Turtles, KO Masters. Like, I love bins like these, man. You, you just never know. You got some sports guys, um, Disney Infinities. It was Spawn, some LJNs. Is that what I think it is? Is that a Tamagotchi? Nope. A Giga Pet. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, like feed your animal. That was probably like during my school years, probably the first items that were ever like banned, like where you couldn't have them in school anymore. The only thing that would have made this lot way cooler was if we had uh, some of the battle trolls. So by the time this video comes out, it already be past Christmas, but Nikki finally has agreed that she wants to collect, she does Monster High and like different things, but I was like, you don't do anything vintage. So the battle trolls has been like what she's been chasing. So I got her a ton of the battle trolls for Christmas. But I was trying not to kill it because I want her to still be able to go to the shows and find them. And I could have bought a, a lot that had like 30 of them. And I'm like, well, there's only like 30. She'd have been like, if you get it too fast, you won't appreciate so, I may or may not be just keeping some. I'll give them to her birthday and something else. But, yeah, that's what I was talking about. When I had my steps stolen here and I went up, I had to get the long boxes off the top. But that's all you got. So, picture taking a long box off. And I rock. I think I chipped my elbow. And so, every time I, like, I put my arm down in my truck, I feel something and, like it hurts. But I rocked it on this. So, I ended up, I slowly got all the comic boxes down to make it easier on them. But this is that part of the process I said it was super expensive because we bag and board every single one of our back issue books and we put them in alphabetical order so it's easier for you to find. So every single one of these long boxes that's loose will all be bagged and boarded. Yeah, get your workout on, bud. I'm gonna open every Mythic Legion figure ever made and put them on display so people can see them. I don't have enough house to keep putting all the collections I want to collect, and Mythic Legions are like downright in the amount of detail that are in those toys are crazy, and there's so much detail that you can't see in the packaging. Like even in my lives, like when I was showing it, the glare off of it, it just doesn't do it justice. But when you start taking them out, you're like, oh my gosh! So I figure, what better? It's it's like uh, you know how they take those really nice sports cars and stuff, and they put them in the center of a mall, and you get to see them, and then you want to go buy them or go look at more cars. Same concept, if I can display them and make them look really nice, you'll be more obligated to want to go down the aisle, look at a Mythic Legion figure and get it for yourself. But on the way here, I had messaged a guy. Okay, so he hasn't, um, he hasn't answered me yet, darn it. But I was really hoping, he, he put a bunch of them up that are, that are older figures, so like figures I'm not gonna get from like my wholesale license. So you have to buy them third party, but yeah, it was this lot here, man. It's some crazy, really, really, really off the wall mythics and stuff. So I had puts, interested in the entire lot. Can we do a bundle price? Cause I want to buy them all. I don't like buying things separate. I've said this a thousand times. That, kills me to buy just this one. Rather buy a hundred of them, keep the one I want, sell the 99. But yeah, so everything in here, this is all gonna be opened. I'll open all of this. Some of them are just insane. I tried to go live and open them, but I didn't realize that you have to apply heat to so many of them to make them snap together. So, New Headless Horseman, we got the new Santa Claus. All the new ones are out there. Um, I, I've noticed that the Cosmics are a lot tougher to sell. It's, I guess more the sci-fi-ish. Yeah, they're like the mythic stuff or, the, or that, but it's been a little slower. The new Father Christmas is really cool. So the retailer Father Christmas is the green, and then the, uh, the normal one is the red. But this is what I was talking about. So 
when you buy a troll, each troll, it'll say like two of two, and that's one of two. And then you, well, you'd have to cut it, open it, and it's the two extra heads. But my my new order came with both of them in one. I was like, what the heck? New, 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 new. This is really, again, you can't really see everything inside. But there's a ton of weapons inside, but that figure looks insane. So I'm going to have cabinets like this all around, and then all of these will be open so people will really get to see. Like, I mean, you look at this guy, and you're like, oh, that's great. You look at, oh, I already glued him down. Well, dummy tech. That is 10 times cooler than that package. And that'll be the way to, to push it. Dude, Mattel set the internet on fire on Black Friday. They put a bunch of figures up real quick. But they brought back out the, the Grizzlore, the Fangor, the Frogmonger, and the Wonderbread. And I was like, man, that sucks. For anyone that was looking for these, that was, Mattel did them dirty. <laughs> so this is... In the back room was the BTR, the Built to Rule G.I. Joe sets. And then later on came the Creo sets. So as you can see, definitely closer related to Lego. Smaller pieces, but they did like the Armor Strike, the Dragonfly. They've done the Headquarters. They've done tons of different. So that's all Creo. So the reason we put this over here is because I didn't want people to think that it was Lego. Because if you're a diehard Lego fan, you'll be completely against that. It, it's kind of like saying... All cars are the same. You get these guys that are Ford guys, Chevy guys that are just ripping each other's heads off. That's the same concept. Yeah, I just started working on the uh, Transformers because Transformers is Creo too. Dude, they did like 300 Transformer ones. This is all the Creo individual Joe figures. And that's what we do. We, we do them all. Put the little booklet in there. Label if they're, you know. All these are complete, but it was still cool, like the little Alley Viper, <laughs> Kerba Bats, and I'll show you these. Look at the, the I uh, haven't finished yet, but these were 10 times harder. The Joes were easy, right? They Most Joe action figures come with like a gun or a sword. It's, it's very simple. Transformers, one, need to be a figure and need to be a machine. So I've been working on these when I'm up here by myself working. Ah. Thank goodness for this. So it's a character. This is what I'm talking about. Look at how many Transformers they made in this KO Lego, per se. So I've been putting them together just like I did the Joes. But you know how they have like, like the combiners in, in Transformers? They've done them. Here, put them in there. They did them for these, and I was like, get out, that is so sick. So you'll take four Transformers, just like it would be a regular Transformer, and they make them. They actually all combine. That was, that's pretty incredible. So I've been silly, like, look, you got your little Beast Wars. But they just go back together. And that would be him right there. But some of the instructions are like, it's super crazy because you look at that right there, he only has two wheels. But then you look at him in car form, he has four wheels. And you look at his instructions, it's like showing you how to do the figure. So you have to go back and make sure you add all the parts you needed. So I'll have like a little like a little baggie. And then they had the extra ones that have like little holds all their gear. So taking me a little bit longer than I ever expected. I mean all the jets. But I save all the cool stuff that, that I like to work on from my shelf.